I dwell in a lonely house I know that vanished many a summer ago and left no trace but the cellar walls and a cellar in which the daylight falls and the purple-stemmed wild raspberries grow. O'er ruined fences the grapevines shield, the woods come back to the mowing field. The orchard tree has grown one copse of new wood and old where the woodpecker chops. The footpath down to the well is healed. I dwell with a strangely aching heart in that vanished abode there far apart on that disused and forgotten road that has no dust bath now for the toad. Night comes. The black bats tumble and dart. The whippoorwill is coming to shout and hush and cluck and flutter about. I hear him begin far enough away, full many a time to say his say, before he arrives to say it out. It is under the small, dim, summer star. I know not who these mute folk are who share the unlit place with me. Those stones out under the low-limbed tree doubtless bear names the mosses mar. They are tireless folk, but slow and sad, though too close keeping are lass and lad, with none among them that ever sings. And yet, in view of how many things, as sweet companions as might be had, Hi everyone, thanks for watching Graveyard Poetry. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And join us next week for another classic poem. See you then.